Okay, so for those people who are having trouble with the AVF error for Space Marine 2 and they can't connect, um, it's very likely due to an EOC or an EAC uh, easy anti-cheat uh, bypass, or it could be your firewall. But uh, either way, we're going to show you how to fix it right now. Um, basically, you're going to open up Steam, and you're going to right-click. If you didn't get this through Steam, then you just want to file the, find the file directory for your game files. In my case, I got it through Steam, so I'm going to go to Manage, Browse, browse Local Files. This is the path for my game. So uh, yours might look something like this. You go to Steam, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, and then here's your game file for Space Marine. You open this up, and you're going to delete this file right here, the configuration settings. Um, Wii Mod gives you a bypass it, for easy anti-cheat and it replaces this file or if you're using any sort of cheat at all um, this is uh, this is what you gotta delete so just delete this I've already done it so no big deal uh, and then close this out and then you're gonna go here and you're gonna hit properties you're gonna go to installed files and you're gonna hit verify the integrity of game files and uh, what it's going to do is it's going to re-download that file that you just deleted if you're using Wiimod or uh, any sort of hacks or just if you have any modded files at all. Um, that'll re-download that. That's step one. While that's doing that, you also need to reopen the firewall settings. So you're just going to go to your start menu. You're going to type in firewall. Windows Defender Firewall for me. If you have a third-party firewall, I would suggest uh, disabling it. And then you're going to go to Inbound Rules, and you're going to click New Rule, and you're going to click Program right here. And then you're going to go to Browse, and you're going to find where your Space Marine 2 is. Again, for me, it's in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Space Marine 2. <coughs> you're going to open up Easy Anti-Cheat. You're going to click this, Easy Anti-Cheat EOS. Open, next, allow the connection, next, give it a name, hit finish. For me, I've already done it, so I'm gonna hit cancel, but hit finish, and you're gonna, you're gonna have to do this a couple times. And then you're gonna go back up here, you're gonna go new rule, program, browse, again, find your, wherever your Space Marine game is. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And then I'm gonna click the start protected game, open, next. Allow the connection. Next, give it a name. Hit finish. And you got to do this one more time. New rule. Program. Browse. This file. This is basically just the Steam version, and this is the regular desktop version. Click open. Next, allow the connection. Domain. Give it a name. Hit finish. And then you got to do the same thing for outbound rules. So, new rule. Program. Browse path. Again, find your Space Marine, wherever it's installed at, the actual game files. Uh, go to Easy Anti-Cheat. Click this. Click Open. Next. Allow. Next. Next. Give it a name. Hit Finish. And we got to do it for the other two files. So New Rule. Program. Browse. Space Marine 2. Protected Game. Allow. Next. Next. Finish. We'll give it a name and then finish. And one more time. Here we go. New rule. Program. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Browse path. Find your Space Marine 2 file. Right here. Again, Steam. Then to Common. Or excuse me, Steam to Steam Apps. To Common. To Space Marine 2. And then this is the last file. Next. Allow. Next. Next, give it a name, hit finish. By the time you're done with that, your game file should be verified and you should just be able to hit play. Now, if you're using um, Epic, uh, the Epic Launcher to play your game, there's a couple more files that you got to do. Uh, one of them is called Epic Online Service Helper, Service User Helper, Epic Online Services, Epic Online Service.exe, and EOS overlay rendered hyphen 164 hyphen shipping.exe and EAC 
underscore launcher.exe. I'll put the name of those files in the description. Um, I, I don't use Epic, so I don't exactly know where those files are, but you would want to do the same exact thing as we just did for the inbound, inbound and outbound rules for all of those files. Try this out. Make sure it launches. Oh, I guess I did have an Epic online service thing. Well, uh, I use Steam, and I didn't have to do those files, but somebody on Reddit said that those files are, uh, are something that you need. So just try this first, and if it doesn't work, then, then you're probably good. I mean, excuse me, if it does work, then you're probably good. Uh, and if you have to locate those files and manually open them on the firewall, then, yeah, you got to figure out where those files are. We're just going to test it out real quick, waiting for it to load. Sorry this video is so long. And I was not able to play this morning because I had that AVF error connection lost is what it said, but I was able to fix it with this. And we're just going to log on and make sure that matchmaking works really quick. So yeah, I think most of the people that are having the problems are either one, they're using uh, a hack of some sort, or two, they're using the uh, Wii Mod. Um, and Wii Mod has you download a file that bypasses the e EAC uh, program. And so by deleting that, uh, that file and then re-downloading it by verifying files, it should resolve the issue. If you didn't get it through Steam, then... Uh, but you do have WeBod, then uh, same thing. You'll just delete that file, and uh, or you could just reinstall the game. Like if this isn't making sense to you, just got a quick match, and as you can see, my matchmaking's working, so we're good. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and throw me a like if it worked for you. Um, I'll try my best to to help people who need help.